Hello, everyone. My name is Alyssa. I am a student in math and business double degree, and I'm actually in my fourth year. Um, and I'm really excited to be here today um, and interviewing Professor Michael Liu, who I'll now actually let introduce himself. So, Michael, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Liu. I'm the director and program advisor for MapBiz. Um, I'm glad to meet all of you today and answer your questions. Awesome. Cool. So I guess I'll start with a little bit. We're going to go through uh, the Mathematics and Business Administration program. Um, so I guess I'll start by asking you, could you describe what the program is all about? The MapBiz programs expose students to all the business functions like uh, HR, accounting, marketing, production, management, and etc. Now, because students are also uh, getting a BE math degree, so they will also study all the core math subjects. And the program also leaves room for students to uh, specialize in some area in the upper years. Some of the popular choice include HR minor, econ minor, stack minor, and the computing option. So what do you wish students would know before choosing math and business as a major? I think it's really important uh, student to figure out exactly what they want with their career and be sure they are interested as in studying mathematics and business subjects. Okay, I guess that's pretty fair. Um, but then could you maybe go into a little bit about what the process is of switching into math and business or declaring it as your major like to begin with? Up to the earliest you can switch into math base is actually in 2B after you finish 10 courses. Uh, ideally, some of them are CS courses, some of them are mathematics business courses, and you need to be in good standing with an average of at least 65. If you have those requirements, you can uh, fill out a plan modification form and email it to me. Then it's done. Okay, that doesn't sound too hard. <laughs> Um, and then, so my next question would be, what do you, what do you love about sort of the math business field and discipline and, and what excites you about it? Well, this program is unique in the sense is that it combines mathematics with business and it provides students with a very really strong uh, business foundation and the necessary analytical skills to excel in a corporate environment. That's a good point about the corporate environment. And it actually ties in nicely to my next question, which is what kind of career can be pursued with math and business? Because it's so versatile. I can imagine that you can probably do a lot with it. Yeah, absolutely. The, the career opportunity is for math based is limitless because I would imagine every organization needs management and administration. So some of our students uh, go to accounting, some of them go to HR, some of them go to marketing, some become consultants, some become business analysts, and some go to grad school. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I think, so I'm actually in the math and business double degree program. And so maybe now would be a good time for me to ask you about what is the actual difference between the double degree and the just math business administration? Uh, double degree allow you to get, I think, a even a broader uh, uh, range of subject to study. And MAP is more focused on uh, business operation in general. Okay, cool. Um, and then I know that there are these two other programs, FARM and ITM, and I'm actually not quite sure what FARM and ITM stand for, but if you can go into a little bit about FARM and ITM and how they're different from math and business, um, that would be great for me as well. Yeah, FARMS actually stands for Financial Analysis and Risk Management, and it studies finance and investment. So it's actually more specialized than double degree as well as the MAP single degree program. The ITM program stands for Information Technology Management, and it concentrates on the integration of technology and management and how to use computing uh, asset to improve business performance. Okay, and then, okay, I guess that makes sense. Um, so they're a little bit more narrow and focused than I guess math business could be. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm in double degree and I've heard a bit about math and business and math and business double degree. So I was just hoping that you would be able to maybe highlight what is actually the difference between math business administration and math business double degree. 
Um, math, business, double degree allow you to have more options because you're getting two bachelor degrees, one BBA from Laurier, one BMAT from uh, Waterloo. And in each degree, you can specialize in something, right? In your BBA, you might get specialize in accounting. And in your BMAT at Waterloo, you might specialize in uh, stacked. Okay. The MAP is single degree, you're only getting a BMAT degree and you can only obviously specialize in one subject. Okay, and then the subject that you specialize in is like either math or business, or is it like just one? Uh, unfortunately, mostly math because you're getting a BMAT degree. So, okay. as I say, uh, you know, some specialize in uh, stack, econ, XI as well, not as popular, and HR and computing option. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you.